Friday. I'm so excited that you joined me for Community Circle this morning. My name is Mrs. Scott. The first thing that we do at community meeting is our greeting. And today, I would just like you to wish the person that's closest to you a great day. We're gonna call it the great day greeting. So I'll go ahead and start. Good morning, Hallett Hawks. I hope you have a great day. Can you take a minute to wish the person closest to you a great day? Great job. The next thing that we do is we share. So last time I saw you, we talked about how this month we're taking care of self. And there are many ways that we can take care of ourselves. And the last time I was with you, I talked about how we take care of our bodies physically. Have you been standing up and taking stretch breaks? Remember, stretch breaks are super important, especially while we are remote learning and sitting in front of the computer screen all day long. Other parts about taking care of yourself are thinking about giving yourself a brain break and then doing something to take care of your heart. One thing that I do to take care of my brain is I like to just zone out and watch movies at home. Right now, my favorite movie is Inside Out. Have you ever seen that movie? Can you take just a moment to share with somebody at home? What do you do to take care of your brain and give yourself a break? Will you upload that? Will you share it with me on our community circle page? Thank you. I can't wait to hear some of the things that you've been doing for a mental brain break. Now we're gonna move into our activity. I've been super into drawing and coloring lately. And so today, our activity is we're going to draw. Will you take just a minute to find a pencil, a piece of paper, or a marker and your whiteboard? Can you do that? Okay, I'll wait. Okay, friends, do you have something to draw with? Do you have something to draw on? Let's get started. Here we go. First, I want you to draw a rectangle at the bottom of your page. Next, I want you to draw three circles that are floating above your face. Rectangle. Now join the circles to the vase by drawing lines. These are stems. Do you know what we're drawing? Miss Scott gave it away by calling it a vase. You're right, we're drawing flowers. So we have stems and we have the vase but we need petals. So now I would like you to draw petals on your flowers. On your first flower, I want you to draw big circle petals. And I want you to take your marker and go jump, jump, jump all the way around your flower. Now I want you to draw smaller petals on your other two flowers. Get creative, Hallett Hawks. You can make smaller jumps. You can give them triangle petals. I can't wait to see what you're drawing. Now, finally, we want to give the vase a little bit of detail. So go ahead and drop dots on your vase. Take a minute and color it in, stripes, or you can do loop-de-loops all the way across your vase. I share mine with you? Here are my flowers. I haven't had the chance to color, but don't worry, I will. 
Will you share your picture with me on your community circle page? Now it's time for our closing message. If you can see this, I'd love for you to read along with me. Friday, September 25th, 2020. Dear Hallett Hawks, I miss you so much. This week is the last week of September and the last week to discuss taking care of self. Even though we will move on to a new monthly theme, don't forget to always take care of yourself. You are important. Today is independent learning. There's no school Monday, September 28th. Have a great long weekend. I can't wait to welcome back kindergartners and first graders for in-person learning on Tuesday, September 29th. Love, Mrs. Scott. Okay, friends, that's the end of our community circle. Remember, you're going to share with me two things. What have you been doing to take care of yourself? And I want to see your beautiful vase full of flowers. See you next week.